Hello everybody and welcome to another hobby cheating video. Today we're going to talk about finding your painting zen. Now, a lot of times when you're painting, it can be a little stressful. Sometimes you can get down. Sometimes you can feel like you just don't want to pick up that brush and you're stressed out. Maybe you're frustrated with the technique. Maybe you're painting too much of an army. Now, one technique is to do like I do here and have a nice dog that you can pet and relax. Uh, she doesn't want to be on camera apparently, but if you don't have that, or maybe even if you do, there are some techniques you can do in painting that we're going to talk about today. A very simple technique that I use all the time to keep myself on the road, always improving, always learning, and still painting. Hope you enjoy. Our story today begins with the humble Claw Lord. Yes, this little guy from Games Workshop. The Claw Lord, the hero of the Skaven army. Now, over my time, I've painted quite a few Claw Lords. And in fact, that's what this video is about. Not specifically painting Claw Lords, but why I paint them. There's the first one I painted long ago. You can see the reds all glossy. Here's another one I painted. I paint a lot of them because they give me a chance to learn. For example, when I did those and rebased them, it gave me a chance to learn here with making a new kind of cool base. My sewer bases video, you can check that out up in the corner. But it gave me a chance to do something new. Claw Lords, I have eight of them. You can't field more than six in an army and you really never need more than one. But I keep painting them because there's no pressure when I paint them. They're not for a competition. They're for an army I don't really need any more models for. I have 10,000 plus points. There's something I can just have fun with. If I want to make a new crazy base, if I want to try a different company's miniature, like I did here, oh cool, a different range, somebody makes a different one, let me try that. If I want to try some kind of different painting techniques or experiment with weird things like, hey, I wonder if I can do dripping poison, or I wonder if I can have armor that just has this slight color reflection on it, you know, I'll give that a try. And if I don't like it, or the experiment fails, who cares? Because in the end, I didn't need the fig. I wasn't under crunch for an army. I wasn't painting for a competition. But I can use it to learn as well. On this guy, I practiced doing OSL, having a green glow coming up from the sewers, and really understanding that green light. I ended up using it more here on this fig, which was then entered into competitions. And he did pretty well. And I wouldn't have done this if I hadn't have done the other fig to just learn and experiment. When I did this guy, I thought, I wonder if I can make shadows in armor more interesting, especially looking old armor. Can I hide other colors in there? I had seen other painters doing it. And so I wanted to experiment with new recipes for non-metallic, new colors, new combinations, trying different things out. When it came to Skig here, my Claw Lord, for my, uh, for my Soulbound game, it was a chance to learn how to paint an entire fig in oils and do a tutorial about it. And you can see that right here. This was me painting Skig, completely in oil paints. I have this tutorial. Again, you can find it up in the top corner if you want to go check it out. Now, I had painted in oils before, but usually only parts of the miniature. I hadn't done the whole mini in oils, so I got to challenge myself and teach people at the same time as I push myself beyond what I would normally do. And in the end, I got a fig out of it that I quite enjoy. I thought it was a lot of fun to paint and I still use them all the time. So these figs allow me to experiment, to do something different, or even to just continue learning and continue refining. This guy showed up in a recent video on steel non-metallic metal something I'm always trying to work to get better on. And it gave me one more chance to practice, again, on something where if I messed it up, who cares? But I could try different colors, different techniques, different ways to manipulate the paint. And there's no pressure. I paint them for as long as I feel like painting them. I stop when, I'm feel it, like when I feel like I'm done. But I constantly get to be learning. I encourage you to find your own Claw Lord, something you can paint, purely for fun, purely to learn, purely to experiment. So there you go. If you like this, give it a like, subscribe for more hobby cheating in the future, and as always, 
I thank you very much for watching. Thank you.